right, so I've been getting this question pretty frequently. It's, do I regret being an environmental engineer? Do I regret like majoring in it and choosing this path for my future career? So I've been getting these questions from like not only you guys who are watching, but from my family and friends ever since the beginning. And even when I doubt myself, I'm wondering this question too. Like, do I regret it? If I can go back in time, would I, you know, start all over again? Would I do the same thing? So in this video, I want to explain to you, like, whether or not I regret it. But before I begin though, I do want to point out the obvious facts. So I know it sounds like I'm going to explain like a first grader, but in order for you to truly understand and like see where people are coming from and why you even think of this question, I have to state these obvious facts. So currently I'm already an environmental engineer. I've been doing this field for like two years, so I have like some experience. So I'm already like pretty deep inside this field. And so that means that someone who is watching this right now, you guys are curious as to whether or not someone who has, you know, taken this route is regretting it. You who have little or no experience are wondering and like questioning someone who does have experience and you're just really looking ahead to see whether or not you'll also regret it. So basically you want to avoid making a mistake in like pursuing this route if you know someone else regretted it. So that's what I'm here for. Whether you're like a incoming student who just started this route and are like curious to see whether or not it's right for you or maybe you're a graduating student who have already majored in this field and like you know finished four years and are just about to start this career you'll find out whether or not it's right for you through at least my experience so i'm going to share some personal experiences with you you're going to see that for the most part you'll probably be experiencing the same thing it's really just a lot of influence from like your friends your family and like they might be saying like the same things that i've heard you know many many times again so straight up, uh, you know, I graduated with my bachelor's in chemistry and that was a good route for my parents. They were pleased with that. You know, it just seems like a very wise thing to do at the time. But then once I told my parents that I wanted to switch to environmental engineering, they were just thinking like, what is that? What does that field do? I've never even heard of the word environment. Of course, they've always pushed me to become like a doctor or like a, a better understood engineer, like a civil engineer. That's what they think of when they say, or when you think of engineers. I just thought I'd be doing something more eventful with my life. But then when I told them, like, I'm going to do environmental engineer, they're just thinking, you know, be a doctor, be a software engineer, be a civil engineer, maybe be a lawyer. Do anything but become an environmental engineer, because I've never even heard of the word environment. What does the environment have to do with anything? And so because they were so confused as to what, like, the, word, the term environment meant, they didn't really see a future in that field. They didn't know what was going on. They didn't know what you would even be doing once you graduate from school. So how can they tell like whether or not you would get a job or anything after graduating because it's just so new. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be experiencing the same thing. It's just maybe your country or the area that you're in is not really so big on the environment. And of course everyone wants to have a stable life. Your parents are going to be pushing you and their child to choose the right career path. You know, it all makes sense because like they want the best for the child, it's just they're worried for you. But of course, in the end, it was my life, my decision, and I chose to stick with this rep. And now I'm, I've been in this field for two years. So in the end, the answer to that question is, do I regret it? No, I don't regret it. Yes, it was scary and it was worrisome and like I was scared for myself and I know they were scared for me too, but let me explain why I don't regret it. So I'm going to give you a few points why I don't regret it and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have the same commitment and like the same reasons why you chose this field too. So let's talk about like the job market. Yes, the job market is scary for this field. There is very little positions if you decide to become an environmental engineer. You're really only gonna get like a job if you work for the government or work for a very little like private sector that you know deals with this, but there's not gonna be so many. So I know that's gonna be the biggest concern for you guys. It's just if I graduate in this field, will I have like a good life? Will I be guaranteed a job and all that stuff? That's what you know people push for. It's job stability. But I'm telling you right now, when I was applying for this field like two years ago, it's small. It's limited. So you're gonna be searching for some time. But deep down in the end, I didn't regret it because I knew that eventually the environment will have a big impact. And right now it's starting to emerge. Now people are seeing that, you know, this is a problem. We can't just keep doing this forever. We're not living in a sustainable trajectory, so we will pop up, we will be more important later in the future. It's just right now, people don't see it. But if you can like hop in when it's not a good time, but you know in the future it will be, then you know, you're right at the spot. You're jumping in at the right time because you don't want it to be too saturated like it is for right now, maybe software engineers. The next one is pay. So 
You are still in the category of being an engineer. Right now, the pay is very decent for me. I'm making $82,500 a year, so to me, that is a lot. That's a good amount for where I'm living and like my current lifestyle. You know, I'm not really too like expensive. I don't buy luxury goods. I'm a pretty simple guy, so that is more than enough to cover all of my expenses and some and save and invest and all that stuff. So $82,500 a year, that's enough for me. But of course, this amount will vary depending on your location, your experience, you know, your, your education, all these things, your employer. So don't think coming in that you're going to be making this much right off the bat. It depends a lot. But for me, just my personal experience and my current pay, that is more than enough. And I'm pretty sure you won't be getting like that low ball of an offer, especially if you have like an engineer in your title. So yes, there will be variations, but not so great that you will be like kicking yourself saying I chose the wrong major. The next thing that was really important for me, and I know it's like really a conviction kind of thing, is that it is geared towards like humanitarian events and like, you know, just doing good in the future. So we all know that we should be helping the environment, helping the world, helping people. And that was really what convicted me to choose this major in the first place, even though no one believed me. Like no one really wanted me to do that because, you know, the job perspective isn't there, the pay might be low, but deep down you're doing a good thing for this world and for the future. You know, you're trying to like help preserve the future that way we can keep living longer in this earth. And I know for the most part, most of you guys will be choosing this route because of the same thing. You know, you want to preserve the future. You want to have a good life in the future and maybe for your kids and for your grandkids. That's why you're choosing this field. You know what's wrong. You know that the world isn't like sustainable, which is why you are putting in the effort to fix it yourself if no one believes you. And that's the same thing for me. You know, there will always be haters in the world or doubters in the world. Like They're going to trash on you, but you know what's the right thing to do. So, you know, there will always be naysayers, but you just do what you think is important for yourself, do the right thing, and then it doesn't matter what they think because in the end, you're saving yourself and indirectly you're saving them too. And lastly, I don't regret it because like my work is not so stressful. I have a really good like life balance between work and like my life. I know some people like if they're really working hard for the career or they might have like a really mean boss or really demanding company, they might not enjoy it no matter how much to pay. So even if you're in the medical field, yes you'd be getting paid a lot, but is it really worth the sacrifice putting so much effort into something? Yes you're doing the right thing, but you're sort of sacrificing your life for it. Too much so that it might be too demanding for you to continue on sustainably and be happy with your current job situation. But for me, like my job situation, it's good. So I'm making a decent living, getting paid pretty well. You know, I'm not stressed when I come home from work or currently when I'm working from home. Life is pretty good. Life is pretty chill. It's not demanding. It's not stressful. I'm happy. I'm not in like a bad physical situation. I'm not always sick or complaining not always angry. It's because like work is just not that demanding and that difficult right now that I'm hating it. So I don't regret it. Hopefully it stays that way. I mean, yeah, there will always be like some days or a few weeks where it's going to be demanding just for that time being because, you know, maybe a project showed up or some inspector showed up and you have to get things done on a deadline. But for the most part, that happens once in a while, but it's not something that will truly impact your life. And again, it's only there maybe once a few months. It's still manageable. Then once it's done, like everything else is just smooth sailing from that. So maybe you have like a big project due, but then you know once that project is done, then everything else just goes back to normal, slow and smooth sailing, and then you know you're just back to normal. All right, so hopefully this sort of convinced you guys to you know keep pushing for this route. If you had any doubt before, like I did, you know many times from especially from my parents, like who were really big influencers in my life. That's gonna hurt you, you know, having people influence you and say you know that's not the right thing to do. Honestly, it's going to be hard to like answer that question, will you regret the, the decision? Because maybe you yourself are very convicted and you want to do this path. But people outside of their circle, like your friends, your family, your co-workers, your parents, especially your parents, your family, they're going to push you and say, you know, that's not the right path. And I can see where they're coming from. They're very concerned for your future decisions. But if you yourself know that you, know, you want to do this and you are fully convinced that this is the right thing to do, then just do it. No one is in charge of your life, so it's really up to you. No one's stopping you. Only you can answer the question like whether or not you regret it. But hopefully with my tips and like my full perspective that you are you know, pushed into deciding whether or not it's right for you. Again, I can't say that my personal experience will be everything that you experience, but at least you have some idea what you're getting yourself into. Okay, so I mean, that's it for me. Hopefully, I mean, this helped you guys out. 
I do hope to see more people, you know, block the naysayers, block the haters, and actually do what they want. Even if this isn't right for you, just ignore the rest of the world who are hating on you and bashing on you and deciding what you want to do, because again, it's your life. Hopefully this comes out and like convinces you that you can do whatever you want, so long as you are fully convinced that this is the right thing to do. All right, that's all I have. Goodbye.